In this module, we look at the other two dilemmas associated with DNA replication. One of the dilemmas we already talked about is how we get rid of the RNA primer from the lagging strand. The other dilemma is, as you saw in during DNA replication, part of the DNA, the, even in the leading strand or the lagging strand did not matter. The very tips of the chromosome where the DNA polymerization or DNA replication starts, it starts with an RNA primer. So there was an RNA primer here at this location. DNA RNA hybrid molecules are unstable. RNA will be degraded. The single stranded DNA will also be recognized by cell as something unusual. They will also degrade this part of the DNA. So what do we do? There's a problem because every time a cell divides, it will lose the tips of the chromosomes. And about, it, is, it has been calculated, about 50 to 200 Nucleotides will be shorter every time the cell divides. So that formula, every time a cell divides, it can only divide 20 to 30 times after the DNA on the chromosome will become so short that cell will not be able to support its normal functions. So what strategy do cells adapt? One of the things they do, some, some cells, not all of them, they make a special enzyme called telomerase. Telomerase can fix this problem. This problem is fixed because the very tips of the chromosomes have a special sequence which is repeated multiple times in tandem fashion. Tandem is basically like carts on a train. They are in tandem one after another, one after another. So here the sequence, I am circling this, this sequence is present at the very tips of the chromosomes and it is repeated. It's the same sequence repeated about 2,500 times, 2,500 times. So telomerase is a complex molecule. It is a complex of RNA. It has an RNA molecule in it and it has a protein which, is, which has the DNA polymerase function in it. So as you can see, this RNA primer, it will hybridize with the overlapping section of DNA since it carries the complementary this sequence and the telomerase here we had a 3 prime hydroxyl this 3 prime hydroxyl will be extended and we will have a longer DNA now so after that after this structure has been made this DNA new DNA has been synthesized the telomerase will leave and as I mentioned earlier the single stranded DNA will be degraded so we have maintained the integrity of our chromosome. Cancer cells have this ability. Certain other cells in our body that have to continuously divide have also have this enzyme telomerase and have ability to divide many, many times because if other cells who, which do not have this ability, when they divide, ultimately their DNA on the chromosome will get so short that they will not be able to sustain themselves and they will become either senescent or they will die. The other dilemma is the DNA polymerase, the fidelity or accuracy of DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase 1 makes mistakes for every million bases it puts in, it makes one mistake. So in our system, in our, our cells, if we calculate out, every time a cell divides, it will, DNA polymerase will basically make 1000 mistakes. Now that, that is a terrible number. If we, if our DNA is going to have so many changes, it can also, it would be very likely that some of these changes may be in important genes that are important for the, our survival or the survival of the cell. So how do we solve this problem? First of all, let's look at the ability of DNA polymerase 3 to solve this problem. This is the efficiency of DNA polymerase. I said one in a million. DNA polymerase has also a special feature. It can proofread whatever basis it has laid down. Error frequency or the efficiency of this process is one in 10,000. So the combined efficiency is about one in 10 billion. And our genome is 3 billion, 3 billion base pairs. So we are on the safe side with the DNA polymerase 3. Here's another problem. Sometimes 
there is a mismatch in DNA polymerization. Like you can see here, I will circle this. There's a yellow base which is mismatch. So there has to be a system that can remove this mismatch base and put in the correct one. The problem here is how does the system know whether this base is to be removed or the complementary base which, which is opposed to the space, which is sitting in front of the space, that has to be uh, removed. So, it so happens, this say for example, this is the strand which was just synthesized and this is the older strand. The upper one is the strand which was newly synthesized. DNA, our cells can keep track of our DNA, which is the older strand and which is the new strand. How? As the DNA gets, sits in our cell, there are chemical modifications that are made to the DNA. So cell would know that this is actually the older DNA, the parental DNA molecule, and this was the one which was put in later. The enzymes that can remove the mismatch bases from the DNA, they will come in, they will recognize this is the original sequence, and they will remove the mismatched bases, and they'll put in the correct ones. This is the job of DNA polymerase 1. Remember, this is the DNA polymerase that also helped us remove Okazaki fragments. So, this system will remove the mismatch base pairs if they have been made after the DNA has been recently synthesized. Another system is excision repair. Our DNA nucleotides can accumulate damage due to environmental factors. I'll give you one example. Ultraviolet light can make thymine dimers. These are chemically modified nucleotides which can have drastic consequences and actually they do. So these, there's another repair system which is excision repair system which removes the unusual bases and puts in new bases. I'll give you an example how important this is. There's a disease called xeroderma pigmentosa. People who are suffering from this disease they do not have this repair system. There's a, there's a problem with this excision repair system. These people develop cancer even if they have a short exposure to ultraviolet light. So here we have covered the dilemma number two and dilemma number three. We will continue our discussion of DNA replication in the next module.